Hey FratCon, welcome back to the Freddy Frax channel. Today I have my top 10 niche summer recommendations. Stay tuned. You all know if you follow my channel, I typically don't do honorable mentions. I'm going to do one honorable mention today just because this scent is discontinued and it's not talked about a lot. So I, do, I haven't seen it around. I do have myself a decant. I'll be wearing this this summer. It's from the House of Homage Sealman. So Sealman, seal you'll get, or Seal Per Ohm, you'll have fresh florals, citrus, uh, with some peach. It's a really nice scent. I'm not big on peach, but this it works in this scent. And it's an unspoken, un, underrated fragrance that the House of Armage done. I believe, again, it's discontinued, but if you get a chance to get your nose on it, please do so. That's Armage Sealman, or Seal Per Ohm, as an honorable mention. So the next few scents, most of you would probably think that would make it higher on the list, so don't send any jabs my way. The only reason they are this high on the list, 10, 9, and 8, are because there are inspired versions or clone houses or dupes that actually have done fragrances that smell very similar to these that I'll probably be wearing in place of or at times. So I won't be wearing these as much, but they do make this list because they are definitely worth my recommendation to you. And starting at number 10, we're gonna have Creed Aventus. Yeah, I know, I know. Creed Aventus should be number one. Everybody thinks Creed Aventus should be number one on every list. For me, this is a scent that can be worn all year round. But I like wearing it in the summertime. Uh, basically, you get a fresh. It's a fresh scent with a smoky vibe to it. You get fruity vibe as well, depending on the batch you get. This is just an all-around masculine fragrance that I think most people like. And adore, therefore, it is one of the top selling fragrances in the world, especially on the niche side. If I, I can't see any other niche fragrance being as popular as this one. At number nine, we have from the house of Zerja, one of my top favorite lines, we have Neo. Now, Neo, you get bergamot and roly, it's green, it's spicy, it's an amazing scent. and. I had issues with it when I first tried it years back with the performance. Performance is not as bad as I expected. It is a very, very nice, fresh, uplifting, vibrant scent for the summertime. And I do recommend you guys try it out. That's Neo by the House of Zerzhov. At number eight, uh, I believe this might have made my top one, two, in the last few years, I know it's made one of my favorite fragrances of all times. It's Bergamot 22 by the House of Lilabo. This is another fresh Bergamot fragrance, but this one has vetiver and grapefruit and some other notes that put it together. It lasts fairly well. This is one of my wife's most favorite fragrances on me. Again, it's number not eight because there are there are some alternatives out there that perform just as well and smell just as good. Not exactly. This is still one that's worth the recommendation. That's Bergamot 22 by Lelabo. At number seven, we have from the house of Maison Francis Kirkjohn, we have um, Aqua Celestia, Aqua Celestia Forte. Now, this is a in my opinion, better version of the original, just Aqua Celestia. It's brighter with more citrus. It still has the floral notes in there, but I just think they're a little toned down. And this one's a little bit easier to wear. And for the summertime, it's going to be bright and very crowd pleasing. That's MFK's Aqua Celestia Forte. At number six from the House of Kerosene, we have Santalum Sliver. Now this is basically citrus and sandalwood done to perfection, not too thick or heavy with the sandalwood. So it wears very well in the summer and warm weather. 
Um, one of the few warm weather fragrances from this house, uh, from the ones that I've tried. I know there's been a few releases the last couple of years. I haven't tried them. Um, I want to get my hands more on this house. I know when he first came out, I was a big fan. He, he used to be a fellow reviewer. Shout out to you, Kerosene. Keep doing what you're doing. At number five, we have from the house of imaginary authors, Every Storm a Serenade. With this scent, you basically get spruce, which is like a, I don't want to say, it's, it's not a woody scent, but it's like the woods, you know, you get that that pine-ish type scent, uh, trees out in the, you know, in the forest, that, that type of scent you get from the spruce, you get eucalyptus, uh, and you get sea notes. Uh, there's a few other notes in there, but this is basically what I gather. I'm not big on sea notes or aquatic fragrances. But this is one that I highly recommend. Performance is perfect for the warm weather. This just works, and I think you guys should check it out. That's from the House of Imaginary Authors, Every Storm Serenade. At number four, from MFK, again, another one of my favorite houses, we have Aqua Universalis. So this is Aqua Universalis, not Aqua Universalis Forte. This is one of the few that I prefer the original over the Forte. The Forte is a little bit more floral in this case. And for some reason, I get nauseous where I love the scent. I think it actually smells a touch better than this one, just the regular one. But it makes me feel a little nauseous. You know, I'm sorry to say that out loud. Uh, I know you may not want to hear that, but that is reality. And I have to tell it how it is. So the, but Aqua Universalis, not the Forte, is very good. It's basically a clean linen scent, very fresh fruit, uh, citrus, musk, and um, citrus musk and florals. But the florals, again, are died down on this one. So I enjoy it very much, especially in the summer and spring, but summertime, it works to perfection. That's from MFK Aqua Universalis. At number three, I'm bringing to you basically a house, the house of Atelier Cologne. You can pick any one from their, of their fragrances or practically almost any of their fragrances. And this is the year, the part of the, this part of the year or the season that works, that their fragrances work fairly well. Uh, my two recommendations for this time of year from the house will be especially um, Clementine, um, Clementine, California, which, which Again, like like the title says, it's clementine. You have oranges. I think you have some, you know, other citruses. You get uh, woodsy notes. It's a great scent, uplifting, vibrant. It's perfect for this time of year. But if you like fragrances that lean more towards the citrusy, zesty type type of fragrances for this time of year, you can't go wrong with one of my all time favorites, and it's Cedrot and Avrant. Basically, it's like lemon lime sprite type scent. It's, it's zesty, it's bright, it's sizzly. It works, especially in this time of year. Uh, I've taken that scent on vacation and it works. And I recommend these two fragrances or anyone from the house of Atelier for this time of year. At number two, we're, we're winding down here. At number two, from the house of Mancera, we have Wild Fruits. So with Wild Fruits, we're going to get a long-lasting, uplifting fragrance, uh, a sweet citrus with a silver, silver mountain water from Creed Vibe. It doesn't smell like silver mountain water in my opinion, but it has that same vibe, that same uh, zestiness in there, um, clean type scent. It, it's in there. Again, doesn't smell like it to me, but it has that same vibe. And I highly recommend it. It's just last. It's vibrant. It's uplifting. It's perfect for this time of year. And it last. At number two, that's Mancera's Wild Fruits. At number one, the best of the best, my favorite summer fragrance on the niche side of things is from the House of Zerzhov, the, the Casa Marati collection, Mephisto. So Mephisto is another one that's, that gets compared to Silver Mountain Water. In my opinion, this is closer to Silver Mountain Water than number two. But this one is even better than Silver Mountain Water. This one, to me, it is less inky. It's more metallic. I'm sorry. It's less metallic. It um, It's more vibrant, more citrus 
base, then Silver Mountain Water, and the it kicks Silver Mountain Water's butt when it comes to performance. I think this is my favorite in this type of fragrances. I know I've said it before, and no, it's not hype. It's not. It is just reality of how I see it. There are other fragrances out there that may top these, in your opinion. These are just some of the fragrances that I've gotten my hands on that I can recommend to you. So take it for what it is. But please, before you go, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Show your brother some love. Come on. Let's do this. Let's hit 2,000. It's been a long time, but let's hit 2,000 subscribers. Once we hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. I might do a video just to set that up. But till next time, peace and stay blessed, my people. Later.